back to my channel where we are going to learn about traveling. Traveling far, traveling near, traveling there, traveling And traveling everywhere. Where. And yes. with a ninja. Of course, we got to take a ninja traveling with us. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Hey, I'm Coach Sarah. Welcome to my channel, Array of Hope Health, where we find easy hacks to help you stay healthy and strong even while you are traveling. And today we're going to be talking about traveling and how to make that a little bit easier. So I'm going to give you three questions to ask yourself before you travel to help set you up for success. All right. So question number one is where are you going? Where are you traveling to? So I'm going to share my personal adventure that we're about to take so that it will help you answer these questions for your own self. So my family is actually taking a family vacation to go to the Wisconsin Dells to support my daughter, who's a dancer. She's going to nationals dance competition. And so we are just road tripping to Wisconsin and we are super excited because we are going to be staying at a condo, sort of like apartment at one of the resorts there, one of the water parks. So this actually answers a lot of questions. When you ask the question, where am I going? You need to layer that with a whole bunch of questions. Where are you going? Who are you going with? I'm going with my family. How are you gonna be traveling? I'm traveling via road tripping. We're taking the car. And so you need to ask yourself, where am I going? How am I getting there? Because the every time you travel, you're gonna answer these things differently and it's gonna help you know the resources and the things that you need to pack to help set you up for success. I've taken many, many trips where I've been on a plane, I've traveled overseas, I've gone to Europe, and I have done it on plan 100% and I know you can too. So then you need to ask yourself, this is all under where am I going? What resources are gonna be available to you? At this resort, we have access to a full-size kitchen and it does come with like place settings for nine people. And so these are all the things that I need to think through, especially when you're packing, not just for you, but for your family. And so the next question, the number two question, after you figured out where you're going, the resources that are available to you, also knowing like, are you going to be eating out? or are you going to be eating more in? We're gonna be eating more in, we're gonna go out like once. It's also helpful to know the dining options around you, so ask all those questions. All of those resources are available to you online. So you can Google the restaurants before you go and you can come up with your game plan before you even begin to travel. The number two question that you need to ask is what makes you feel comfortable? When you're at home, like what's your comfort zone? I'll tell you for me, I love my coffee. I love making my coffee. I love the experience of it. And because I'm road tripping, I know that I can bring my coffee with me. It's actually easier. Now, if I was going on a plane, I'd have to have a different answer to this, but that's okay. That's why we're asking the questions so we can make the answers, right? So I am going to be bringing my favorite coffee mug with me and my mug makes me feel like I'm at home. So it's gonna make my trip feel even better because I'm gonna have my coffee mug and then I know the exact ratios of everything that I put in my mug. And then you're not stuck with somebody's weird mug that you've never used. And you know, I've been to Europe and they give you mugs this big and then you're like, what do I do with this? I need 32 of these, right? So ask yourself, can you bring your mug? Also, if you're traveling somewhere, can you bring your favorite water jug? Having your favorite jugs that you know, this cup holds 40 ounces. Okay, so I can bring my favorite coffee mug to make me feel more at home, and I can bring one of my favorite water jugs, or if you have two or 10, just pick one and pack it with you, okay? Also, to help set me up for success with coffee, I'm also going to be bringing my electric kettle. No, you don't have to. You can be as resourceful as you want. You can, you know, use the microwave and boil water and all kinds of other things. But for me, this makes me feel like I'm at home. And so I'm going to bring my electric kettle. We have the space that we're actually taking multiple cars. So that's another thing, like who's going, how many cars, how much space do you need? We actually need a ton of space because I have to bring my daughter's huge dance bag and we have to bring a whole chair. So we ended up having to split up into different vehicles, which totally works. But it's part of the planning process. And the more you know and do this up front, it's gonna make your trip so much better. Trust me. I'm also bringing all of the things I need to make my favorite mushroom coffee, which is rice. So I always put my rice mushroom coffee. Um, I, you measure this out in scoops. And then I also, uh, I got, look at 
this, you guys. Is this not the cutest? It's a little tiny. This is, look, okay, can you see my hand? Seriously, you guys, it's like as big as my hand. It's a little baby vital proteins. Okay, sorry, I'm nerding out, it's so cute. So this is, I love this vital proteins, collagen peptides in my coffee. I just put one tablespoon of this. Oh, I just love it. So anyways, I'm setting myself up to win because I want to win while I'm gone. I'm also bringing my favorite creamer for my coffee. Here's the thing, can I give you a little tip? If you are going somewhere and you're not sure if they have your favorite things that are gonna make you feel like amazing, then you can always like go online, go on, like this place has Walmart, so that's good. They probably have a ton of resources available. However, I don't know that. So you can always look online. When in doubt, plan to pack it because there is nothing like me assuming that Walmart would have this getting there and they don't have it. That would be very, very sad. So we have some of those soft side coolers. We're just gonna load them up with ice and pack everything that needs to be cold and chilled in those coolers. And we have no problem because once we get there, I know I have a full size, full size fridge. Now, if you're going, I know I have other videos, please check out my entire travel playlist to give you some more ideas if you're going to a hotel and all, you know, and even if you're going and you're meeting somebody on the other side, you can always call a friend, you know, like that game show, call a friend. So there's so many things that you can do when you're traveling, but this trip, it, I feel extra blessed because I pretty much get to bring whatever I feel like I need. And so anyways, I'm going to be bringing my creamer. Okay. Now, I wanna show you guys a whole bunch of things that I am packing, and this probably is just, a, this is just a few things, just a few things, but I wanted to give you guys an idea that you are in control and you are in power of your choices. Make the choices on the front end of your trip, not on the back end, not when you're in the moment. In the moment, you're gonna make a bad choice. So make the choice today, right now, before you go. And I'm telling you, here's the next thing. If you know you need resources, if you know you need special things, please do me a huge favor. Plan this weeks before you go on your trip because if you wait and you're like, I'm, I'm literally leaving tomorrow. And so if I planned right now and I was like, hey guys, I'm gonna like go get all these special supplies. Well, I can't just get this at the store. This is from rise.com, that's where I get it. I would be in a world of hurt if I was running low on this and I needed it. So you need to think through your plan so you can order things, give yourself two weeks so things have time to ship and get to your house. And then, you know what? Okay, I, I just wanna throw this out there. If you're watching this because you're going on a trip tomorrow, it's not too late. Target has so many amazing options. I'm gonna share with you some of these options today. Here are some other items that I'm gonna be bringing to help make our trip easier. Uh, my dad likes Keurig K-Cups, and so they're actually bringing a small Keurig. There is a coffee pot. Is there a coffee pot? Yes, there is. But we're just trying to make things as simple and as easy as possible. We're also going to be bringing our own paper plates and napkins and silverware because we don't want really anybody having to do dishes on this trip. It's not that kind of trip where we want to spend a lot of time in the kitchen. We want to be having fun. We want to be at the water parks. We're going to be watching Array of Dance, and there's going to be a lot of gumming, going, coming, going. And the last thing I want anybody to have to do is sit and do dishes in this um, in this condo. So with that, we're just gonna pack all those things. It's very inexpensive. If you just get a big, huge plethora of them from Costco, you bring the whole thing, everybody just grabs plates or bowls for breakfast, lunch, dinner. So I wanna share with you guys some of the things that we're packing to help stay on plan for this vacation. That is tip number three, is purchase and plan your resources. And so we're gonna talk about that today. I've got all my resources behind me and we've been stacking up things as we go for all the things that we're gonna need for this trip. So besides my electric kettle, I'm also going to be bringing my Epicure steamer because it makes my steamed veggies in just a few minutes. And I love this thing. If you don't have one, I will link it in the description for you. You can go check it out. It is seriously one of my top recommendations for something to always have. You can make bacon in this. You can cook. I, I love just mostly cooking my veggies in it because it's so simple. You can make potatoes in this. You can make your sweet potatoes in this in minutes, minutes, you guys. So if you're looking for a quick resource, I love taking fresh broccoli and throwing this in there. I did that for lunch today. It took five minutes and I, I'm talking, I filled this thing full of broccoli. It wasn't like a little teaspoon of broccoli. This was full of broccoli, five minutes, perfect, perfect. Okay, steamer, you need one. Also gonna be bringing an instant pot to make rice in it. 
Um, so those are the types of things that if you have that available to you, you can decide, do you want to bring it? You could also bring a blender if you want to make smoothies. I'm actually not bringing a blender this time. I realized, eh, I don't really have a reason for it. We went through and made a menu plan. So that's another thing, like sit down and write out your menu. I know some of you are like, what? I don't want to do it. Just trust me, your vacations can be so much happier that you thought it through. And so I'll tell you, my husband though, he's the mastermind behind the menu plan because he is so organized when it comes to like, just make the menu and then we'll go back and fill in the items of the things that we need. So then we could decipher if we need to go to the store to buy it or if we need to just like pull it out of the fridge or the freezer or the pantry. So anyways, make your menu so you ha know what you're gonna have, especially there is 10 of us staying in this place. 10 of us, we need a plan. We can't just woo, 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 blindside our way through it or it's gonna be a disaster. So I know that we're gonna be doing like yogurt bowls for breakfast and eggs. And we actually bought some sausage because we were thinking through, do we actually wanna cook bacon or do we actually wanna make sausage? Well, sausage is way easier because you can throw it on a paper towel, you can microwave it, you could put a big sheet pan of it and bake it, but you know, it, there's so many options. And so we just wanna keep things super simple, super easy pretty much grab and go. And so that's what we got going on here today. Okay, there's a lot of like going to the water parks, a lot of going back and forth to the dance. So I am bringing some Tillamook Zero Sugar Beef Jerky. This stuff is super good. Hard boiled eggs. My kids absolutely love this Tropicana Zero. And if you have not tried the Summer Splash, it is it's actually my kid's favorite. So we're bringing this, especially for Araya. She loves to stay hydrated and she's gonna be dancing a lot. So we're bringing like six of these. I'm also bringing some canned chicken. So the nice thing about this kind of stuff, you can just pop it open and then you could just take a fork and eat it out of the can if you need to. So be creative when you're coming up with stuff like this because also where's your protein? A lot of the times our biggest stumbling block would be veggies and protein. And so make sure that you have a plan for your protein. Okay guys, speaking of protein, don't forget your chomps. You know, I love these. I always recommend them to you because they are shelf stable and they are perfect portable protein source. You can get them from chomps.com. Yes, you can find them at the places like Trader Joe's. Some Costco's have them. Cheapest though is online, shockingly. And so if you go online, you can also get fun different flavors. This is just a few of them. You can, if you're like, Sarah, I already tried those and I didn't love them get the trial pack. Then you can try every single flavor and then you can figure out which one's your favorite and then you can order it online. If you use code Array of Hope, you can get 15% off. Okay guys, so once you figure out what your protein is, you can also add other sources of protein. I'm going to be bringing some tuna. And so this way I also have options. And so if I'm like, eh, I don't feel like chicken, I could have tuna. Some fun finds for you. So veggie tips, these are super fun and delicious. Don't forget your chocolate because these are the things that are probably really hard to find when you're out and about. So bring your own resources. So I have lilies. If you really are like, man, I don't have anything, you can always just grab a bag of your favorite on plan chocolate chips. Mine are the sugar-free from uh, 365. And so uh, this is a great dessert. You can't find dessert on plan. You have these, you know, you just open them, put a couple in, have a little snack, throw them in with some nuts. You've got like a natural trail mix. So always throw this in your to-go bag. Found, oh my gosh. Okay, don't, I know some of you guys are like, you have the best Costco ever. I think I must because apparently I have a lot more. Uh, I think I'm one of those stores where they try things out because this is our new find and oh my gosh, it's so good. Here's the problem with it though. You really have to watch your portion size on this or you could be in crossover way too quickly. So um, just know if you get this, it's really, really great for kids. But if you're gonna make my yogurt bowls, this is great. Guess a couple tablespoons on top. It's so delicious. Um, this is specifically the vanilla chocolate chip granola. So good, you guys, so good. Of course, some pistachios, some whole cashews. Salsa, we're gonna be doing a taco night. And so I am just bringing some of the things that I already know are on plan and that we love them. So salsa. More chocolates, that's it, truffles. Organic super greens, I found these at Costco too. Liquid IV if you want to add some electrolytes. This one is also from Costco. They started doing the split bag, so it has white peach, it has white peach and the lemon lime. I don't like the white peach, but that's just me. Maybe you like it. I like the lemon lime though, it's delicious. This is also great for kids, is to bring portable snacks like this. You can always drain off, if it's in juice or something, you can always just drain it off and eat it. It just depends. This doesn't have any added sugar or anything to it. And you can also bring little microwavable pouches of brown rice and quinoa. 
applesauce pouches. My daughter absolutely loves Hue chocolate. So she's dancing. Of course, I'm gonna get her some chocolate bars to help give her something, something, a little something fun when she's done with dancing. I am bringing cacao nibs and this is gonna go on top of our yogurt bowls. I'm also bringing some of these Amara organic melts, smoothie melts. These are super good. I love these for the kids. If you wanna try them out, they're also delicious. They are definitely, you gotta watch the portion size. A quarter of a cup has two and a half grams of fat and it has three carbs. So technically it can squeeze into a fuel pool, but you gotta really watch your portions. I'm actually not bringing this, but it's so cool. I had to show it to you anyways. Um, this is just, comes in a box. We already ate these last night. So otherwise I'd show them to you, but you can get this at Trader Joe's. It comes in a box like this. And I thought, oh my gosh, this is great. You can even take this camping and all kinds of fun stuff. So if you're looking for like, where am I gonna get my veggies? They even, they have a couple different options at Trader Joe's on the shelf, like right by all the canned goods. There's a whole bunch of different options. So I love this though, because if you're going to someone's house or something, you can always be like, oh, no problem. I got my pasta. Let me pull it out. You can pull this out of your purse, you guys. Come on now, come on now. That's cool, it's cool. Okay, I found some fun new things. Look what I found. Okay, so these are fruit splits. And I thought, I thought, how cool is that, fruit splits? These are new and they're literally just made of fruit. So awesome. I love more of this kind of stuff for my kids. I don't eat this very often, but if I want to try it, I will. Um, but it's a great option. So I love having this stuff on hand. So these are apple, pear, pineapple, and raspberry. And let's see, apple, pear, pineapple, raspberry. All right. And this one is, what is it? Apple, pear, and strawberry. So fun new finds. So bringing my entire bag of super sweet because I'm gonna need this for my coffee. And then I would recommend if you're if you know you're gonna be eating out more, bring like the little Truvia packets or your favorite pure like P Y U R E. You know those pure packets. I've shown them to you guys in other videos. Bring those to go and put always put some in your purse. Like no matter what, when in doubt throw it in your purse because a lot of the times we get to places and yeah, they might have like stevia in the raw and you're like looking at that going, it's dextrose, it's sugar, it's trash, throw it out. So always come prepared with your sweetener. Super important. So I got my sweetener I'm ready. These are totally personal choice, personal choice, personal choice. Like so far personal choice. I don't want you to think like, oh, I should go get that. I am doing this for my son. My son is a very picky eater and I'm like, please help me feed him something healthy. And he's, I don't want him to be hangry. So anyways, I decided to get this. Have you tried these? Magic spoon. He actually tried them. I let him open them and he likes it. So I was like, yay. I'm just super excited to get something because sometimes he will just choose not to eat. Very difficult. So if you have a difficult person, try to do the best you can. But this does have 13 grams of protein in it. And I know some of you are gonna be like, why is it personal choice? Well, first off, it doesn't have the best protein. It's a concentrate whey, which isn't the best. And then it also does have a tapioca starch in it. So making this very much a personal choice, more leaning more to off planish. But however, when in a pickle, I am not opposed to using something like this if you need to, especially to help save you from the hangries, all right? All right, I know I'm not gonna be finding blue spirulina anywhere, probably there. I don't even know where I would go. So I'm packing my own. This is just to make our bowls fun. So we're on vacation, yeah, but it doesn't mean it has to be boring. So we're gonna be adding this to our yogurt bowls. I know a lot of the things too, you can make a list if you're going somewhere and you can go shopping on the other end. Just make sure you pack any of your weird things so that you are setting yourself up for success. All right, don't forget your Orgain. So I get the big, huge uh, pack from Costco and there's like 18 of these. It's the plant protein one. They got 20 grams of protein. There is nothing like just being able to have something like this for when you get hungry and you just have this in your purse. Well, depends. My purse is really small. Just carry this with you. No matter what, you've got something like this. I can throw this in my daughter's dance bag and I know I at least have something, so I'm not without nothing. So I'm gonna have my chomps and then I'm gonna have something like this on hand at all times. Some more fun snack ideas is lesser evil popcorn. So the cool thing about these, these are little individual bags. So the nice thing is you can pull one out, you could have one for you, you could give this to your kids. However, it's really super portable. So I love that they're in these little tiny bags. And oh, I found this at Whole Foods. Other thing, it's always drinks are really hard to find, sugar-free can be a little bit tricky, especially if you have favorites. I love Virgil's. You can find these at Whole Foods. These are so good. 
And what you can do is just throw them in the fridge and throw them in your cooler, take them to the beach with you. And then you know that you have something that you can enjoy. And don't feel like you're on vacation too. It's your vacation. So if you wanna splurge a little on things like this, I don't have this kind of stuff all the time, but if I'm on vacation, I wanna enjoy it just like my family. So I'm gonna splurge a little bit more and I'm gonna pack these so I can enjoy a drink. How about Bubbla? Have you guys tried these? So my girls love these drinks. And so I just got a bunch of different flavors so that they can have these fun drinks all week. And so we have triple berry, we got some sort of watermelon smasher, and then we've got this twisted elixir, raspberry lime and citrus. Also picked up some of this by, and it is actually water, Zambia Bing Cherry. Have you guys tried this? So uh, this is a great time to try fun new things that maybe you haven't tried before. All right, my daughter is a dancer, and one of the ways that she gets her protein and her hydration is through fun protein drinks like this. So this is Chobani Complete, so we're packing several of these. We also wanna make sure she has enough energy for her dance. And then Chobani Zero Sugar, and so this one's the Mixed Berry. She loves these, by the way. These are her favorite flavors. So if you're looking for a favorite flavor to pick, these are the ones. And Strawberry Cream. So these are great. If you have growing kids, if you have a dancer, if you have somebody super athletic, get stuff like this. You are giving them a healthy, complete option that's gonna fuel their tank. Another fun drink that we love is Aura. If you guys haven't tried these, they're so good. Okay, so this is Aura Collagen Tea, and I get these at Whole Foods. And so this one is pineapple ginger and strawberry guava. There's another flavor, but it's not our favorite. So if you see that one, just know it's not our favorite, but these two, we love these. Okay, I haven't tried this yet. It's super new, but it's called a chocolate organic smoothie. So this is actually literally coconut, like coconut water, coconut meat, and then it also has cocoa powder and sea salt, that's it. So I have no idea how this tastes, but again, trying something fun and new. This would be for your healthy carb meals. So just make sure that you're reading those ingredients, read the labels, always check your labels. Even if I show you guys something on here, please always check your labels because sometimes there are um, product changes and ingredient changes. So if you're not already in my Generation Movers community, I would love to invite you. I will link it in the description for you. I am always updating everybody in my membership on the product changes as they come because it's happening all the time. So we have a new ebook that comes out every single month that explains, hey, this is what's changed. And I also wanna educate you and empower you on all ingredients so you cannot just like wonder about ingredients, but understand ingredients. And that is my mission for you is to learn how to read these things for yourself. So when you go to the store, you find fun new products to try and go, yeah, that's totally on plan. Yeah, I can have that. Hey guys, real quick, one last thing. I wanted to remind you that Sip the Rainbow is back for the third time. I'm super excited. The last week of June, we are going to be sipping through red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. If you have not done Sip the Rainbow, I cannot wait for you to have your first experience. And if you're coming back for the third round, welcome back. I cannot wait to be joining you. We're gonna stay hydrated and hey, you might win a prize for drinking more healthy drinks. like. That's a win-win situation. Go to arrayahopehealth.com and download your tracker. I look forward to sipping through the rainbow with you at the end of June. All right, guys. Well, that's all I got for you today. That is a lot of information. I hope that helps you. I'm going to be packing all these things up. We're also going to be using a sous vide to warm up our meat. If you'd like to see some of the things that we do over the week, let me know. Comment travel and I will show you some of the meals that we've had over the week. Maybe do another video for you guys to help you make your next trip successful. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget, if you liked this video, to hit the like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. The subscribe is free, so go ahead, just click that button and I will see you guys next time. All right guys, have a great day, bye. Oh,